In this video, we're gonna be testing heaters. This is actually the third time I filmed this video, so if you appreciate me trying to make these videos for you guys, please leave a thumbs up. And I need to explain really quickly, watts is for how much power is moving at one time. And that refers to power moving through an inverter or even a charge controller. So for example, how much power is coming from solar panels going into the battery, or how much power is coming off of the battery through the inverter to run something. And in this case, I've got the Zender Superbase Pro. This is a great little unit. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and plug in this tiny heater right here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the highest setting. So let's say this uses 500 watts when on high. So that 500 watts is energy coming off of the battery, going through the inverter and being converted to heat. And so if I run that 500 watts consistently for one hour, I will consume 500 watt hours of the total battery capacity. Since this is about a 2000 watt hour battery, that's 25%. So that makes easy math. That means I could run this for about four hours nonstop without any solar panels or a wall charger connected. And so one of the most common things that companies say, or even other people say is, yes, it will run that. And that really refers to the inverter because the real question is how long? We know that this system will run this heater for four hours, which is not enough time if you needed to heat a really small space, because this is a really small heater, during an emergency like a blackout. So let's say you need to use a bigger heater. Then we're gonna jump up to this one right here. Now this upright heater is gonna use about 1300 watts to run. So if I use 1300 watts consistently for one hour, I'm going to use 1300 watt hours off of the battery. So if I have a 2000 watt hour battery, how do I figure out how long this system will run? Well, all we gotta do is grab a calculator. So all we're gonna do is do 2000 watt hours, which is just the total battery capacity, divided by the watts, of what's going to consistently run for one hour, which is 1300 watts. So 2000 divided by 1300 is basically 1 1.5. So this will run off of this unit for 1.5 hours before this is completely dead. So I've got seven people that live at my house. Let's say there's a blackout and it's the middle of winter. It is below freezing during the day and well below freezing at night. Let's say we're all huddled together and we're in our movie room. The movie room is about 700 square feet and I need to heat that space to keep everybody warm. So to find out how much battery capacity I need in order to run this, all I need to know is how many hours of no solar charging am I gonna have or how many hours do I need to run this consistently? During the winter, that's gonna be closer to about 15 hours. So all I have to do is take 15 hours, multiply it by 1300 because it's going to be running 1300 watts consistently of every hour that's going to be 19,500 watt hours of battery capacity or in other words 10 of these units or in other words a titan with 10 expansion batteries or in other words two delta pros with four expansion batteries which is the maximum it can handle and even the Mango Power E, which is very relatable to the Titan or the Delta Pro, I'm gonna get two of those and two expansion batteries, and that's 14,000 watt hours of battery capacity. That whole setup is over $10,000. So the real question becomes, do I want to spend $10,000 to heat a small space with an electric heater? The answer really is no. If I had to do that during an emergency, I would want a propane or kerosene heater, or, the option to run the central heat on my house as long as I have natural gas or propane. Because if I have natural gas or propane to heat, then all I've got to do is power the central fan. So that being said, let's say I'm only going to run this for 30 minutes of every hour. Well, 30 minutes is 50% of one hour. So all I would do is take 50% of the continuous watts, which is 1300, Divide that in half, that's gonna be 650 watts. So I would do 650 watt hours per hour would be my equation. So then if I need to run for 15 hours, all I would do is take 15 hours multiplied by the watt hours per hour, and that's gonna give me basically 10,000 watt hours of battery capacity necessary to run for those 15 hours. That's still a massive system. That would be five batteries, five of these systems. It's going to be very expensive. Now, the reason with that central heat with natural gas or propane is so great is because you're only going to run it for about 20 minutes of every hour. Okay, so one third or 33% of one hour. And the average blower for a gas furnace 
and uses about 300 watts to run. So since I'm gonna be using 33% of the 300 watts in the course of an hour, then it's just 100 watt hours per hour in order to run my central heat. If you don't have that option, you wanna go with kerosene or propane, and that's because both of those types of fuel don't expire. And for about $250 or less, you can get a very high BTU kerosene or propane heater. As well, you can go buy off the shelf either propane tanks or jugs of kerosene to keep that going. Now I use a Mr. Buddy heater that has an adapter hose that goes to a barbecue propane tank. And then I keep lots of those propane tanks on hand. So that way I have at least a week's worth of heat. That's always my recommendation is at least a week, but you would have to apply that to whatever your situation is. So just in the few minutes we've been talking, this has already gone down 9%. Now a lot of this information you can find at poweredportablesolar.com about the Mango, the Blue Eddy AC500, which I've got down there, the Titan, the Delta Pro, the Super Base Pro, all of the other units like the Delta Max, the E2000 LFP, all of the other units that I've done reviews on, you can find it there. As well as just reach out to me if you have questions at info at poweredportablesolar.com or if you want to get personal contact and help with any of your preps, go to patreon.com slash minutemanprep, become a contributor, and you and I can chat openly. Our grid infrastructure is only getting weaker. We have less and less power available to the grid, and we have more and more people every day using the grid. So our needs are growing, and then the availability is diminishing, which means high demand, which is gonna increase the prices, and the supply is getting lower. So this is why I believe everybody needs to have their own backup power system, and I prefer solar, just because of all the situations I've been through. And if the sun doesn't come out, then I use a gas generator to recharge the system in just a couple of hours, and then that system will give me 24 to 48 hours of runtime with no sun. So then, rather than running the gas generator for 48 hours, I run it for two to four hours and I get 48 hours of power by recharging these systems really quickly. So regardless of your belief system, the fact is we have less and less power available on the grid. Just during this last winter Christmas storm, I had many people reaching out to me, some of them saying they were very grateful that they got their system because they had all the power that they needed for the duration of the storm. Other people emailed me and said, I wish I had got a system before the storm now what system do I need? And that's what we do at poweredportablesolar.com is we help people figure out exactly what they need. Get solar backup and minimum have a gas generator, have a way to have some heat. And I will do a future video where I test these different air conditioners, including mini splits, which help cool our house during the summer as well. So thank you so much for being here. Be prepared. See you guys in the next video.